Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Mike Davis versus Natan Levy. Mike Davis, 10-2, 4-1 in his last five fights. Minus 250 under a favorite. Jesus, should not be that big of a favorite. 31 years old, 6 foot tall with a 72 and a half inch reach. Fighting Natan Levy, 8-1, 4-1 in his last five fights. Plus 205 underdog, 32 years old. 5'9 with a 72 inch reach, half inch reach advantage for Mike Davis. Now, Mike Davis is a very, very good striker, very powerful, very fast. But I like Nathan Levy on this one. I think his grappling and the way that he's able to keep that distance, but also at the same time, when he needs to close it, he's very good at closing it and getting it in safer positions for him. You know, he has, he's also fought some pretty good opponents. You know, on the on the contender series, he won by arm triangle choke. Lost to Rafa Garcia, uh, came back and beat Mike Breeden, who's trash, and then beat uh, Gennaro Valdez by decision. Some good moments in there for Valdez, but Nathan Levy was able to control most of the moments and, and win a decision. Now, Mike Davis hasn't fought since a year, for a year and a half. Did beat Vyashev Borishev, Borishev, Slava Claus, beat him. Just took him down, stayed away from his uh, his striking game, his kickboxing striking. So I believe he also did get caught in that fight by Slava Claus, but Slava Claus is very, very good. You know, like I said, 4-1 and one in his last loss was four years ago against Gilbert Burns by rear naked choke. Crazy to think about that. Uh, since then, beat Thomas Guilford, one of the worst stoppages I've ever seen in a fight. Should have been stopped well before that. Beat Mason Jason, which is a very, very big win if you know who Mason Jason is. No longer in the UFC, but I would suspect he'll be back in there very soon. And then beat uh, Borishev by decision. So, I like Natan Levy. I think he does a lot of good things. I think as an underdog, it's a very, very, very good bet. But last thing we'll look at, strikes, significant strikes. Strikes landed per minute, 4.01 to 5.83. Accuracy is 51 to 52. Strikes absorbed per minute, 3.52 to 6.20. Defense, 58 to 56. Another thing, takedowns for, 50, for a fight, 5.37 to 3.04. Accuracy is 57 to 53. Takedown defense is 41% to 69, and Natan Levy goes for a takedown basically every other fight, or a submission every other fight. So I like Natan Levy in this one. I think he can make it dirty. I think he can make it ugly. I think he can keep that distance. Both fighters uh, uh, average a lot of fight time, about 14 minutes, both of them. They're one second less than Levy. and uh, Natan Levy is 13 minutes and 59 seconds. Mike Davis is 13 minutes and 48 seconds. So... I like Natan Levy. I think he's able to grapple his way to a victory. I think he's able to mix up his game plans a little bit better. His striking, you know, to wrestling, his wrestling, to striking, to to uh, grappling, to jiu-jitsu, all these things. So Mike Davis will be very dangerous as long as, as long as they're on the feet, but I think they won't be on the feet very long. Natan Levy will be your winner. As always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you guys are picking. Peace.